Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Lucas the spider. So let's get started. To draw this cute jumping spider, let's first start by drawing its humongous eyes. So I'm going to come right here and start with a circle. And I'm going to try and make my circles a little bit more, uh, a little bit taller. So more ovalish, I guess. So nice big circle right here. I'm going to start with that and I'm not completing the circle because I have these uh, appendages that I need to put under there. So I'll just start with that first and then I'm going to come to this um, next to it and draw another one of these. And this one maybe just a slightly, just slightly thinner and at a slight angle. So I'll say about right here. It doesn't really matter. It's just one of these two huge ovalish circles. Okay, so I have these two circles and kind of <laughs> ovals. And then from there, I'm going to stop, come in this area right here underneath. And um, well, let's bring this in a little bit more. So I still have some room to the right there. I'll come in this area and I'm gonna draw a curve. So this is a, going to be the beginning of these things called a pedipalps. That's what Google told me. And they're kind of like antennas for a uh, spider or a jumping spider. They sense objects. So um, hopefully I have that uh, information correct. So it's just this little shape right here. And I'm trying to soften the shape because I want it nice and cute. So I'm just going to create this little kind of like, like jelly bean shape right here. A little bit sharper towards this bottom part. Then same thing over here. I'm going to come right in here, draw a curve. And this one's going to slightly go more this way. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to angle mine coming out this way a little bit more. And connect. So you have these two shapes in there. And then let's go ahead and finish off our eyes. So whatever space you have left, Go ahead and connect it. Okay, so then now to make these eyes, um, let's see here. Let's come over here and I'm going to draw a curve. So like they're like draw so cute eyes, but at a different <laughs> angle. And I did try to draw so cute eyes. It just did not look right. So I'm just gonna add a little curve right there. And then we're gonna give this big highlight right here in this area, nice big oval. And then we're just going to go ahead and shade everything else in. Now let's do the same thing on this side as well. So once again, just going to draw this curve on the edge right here. And then a huge ovalish eye highlight right here. And shade everything else in. forever because these are huge eyes <laughs> and that's what makes Lucas so cute right this jumping spider and we still have two more eyes we need to draw because jumping spiders well this one here Lucas has four eyes who knew a spider could be so cute right okay so we have these eyes in now let's uh, let's come over here. Now we're going to have to draw the other uh, two eyes. So let's come next to this eye, kind of in the higher up area here. I'm going to come next to it and draw a circle. So 
right next to it. Let's work on a circle right here for the other eye. And I'm going to give it a curve going this way now. And then a highlight right here. So a circle. And then shade everything else in. Like I said, I did try draw so cute eyes on this spider. It just didn't look right. <laughs> so we'll stick with the original. Okay, so then we're going to have to draw the other eye coming right across right here. Uh, next, next to it, we're going to draw a curve. Because this one's kind of at a side. We're just going to see it from the side, about right there. And then pop it out. And then highlight this way. Oh, I mean the curve going this way and then the highlight uh, right here and shade everything else in. There. And not as sharp. Let me fix that real quick. I got too sharp right here. And a little bit more highlight. <laughs> okay, so then from there, Let's go ahead and we're going to draw a soft curve over the eye. So let's say about right here. There's a very soft, light curve. And same thing here. I know it looks really weird right now. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> Just make sure your eyes are kind of all at this angle. That's our goal. Just slightly tilt it a little bit. Then from there, let's start framing this together. Let's come to the center and say about this area right here. I'll just give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to go up and come around. And we're just going to try and make this nice and soft and bring it right back to this eye right here. So we just want a little dip and then same thing on the other side. So it's just a tiny little dip and then come out. And so we're going to bring this curve right into this eye. So that's why this eye is more ovalish right here. And then we're going to imagine this coming through and connecting to about right here. There. Okay, so then let's bring this down a tiny bit more. And about right there. I'm going to stop and then about in this area right here, I'm going to draw the first leg. So let's come about right here. I'm going to pop out a curve. And it's kind of the same shape as that, but just longer. And I'm going to bring this front leg that comes all the way down, soften the tip, and come back up. So that's the front one right here on this side. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So about right here, once again, and curve down to about the same area right here, round off the tip. and connect. From there, now that we have these four things going on right there, let's imagine this continuing for the head coming through and then about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve to connect everything. Okay, so then from there, we're going to come about right here. I'm just going to draw an indication of this being connected to the body. So it'll curve right there. And same thing here, since I think we might be able to see a little bit of that. So we know that it's curved. And then whatever space we have left, just go ahead and connect it. There. And let's see. Now to draw the back legs. So right here, we're going to draw three of them. Let's tuck them in right here. Go up, come down, and then out. And then we're just going to go ahead and thicken them and bring it in. 
So I'll just go ahead and tuck in two more. And last one. And then there might, we can probably see some here. So I'm just going to a little indication of it. So let's say about right here. Imagine it as if it's coming out. And in, if you care to draw that part. Not sure if it makes sense, but I think we can probably see it. So <laughs> I think we're going to add that right there. Okay, so then from there, the back. So let's come about right here. And I'll say about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw this big curve, this bulby shape right here, kind of following this curve, and then we're just going to bring it in. And right back to that point. There, finally. I hope that looks like a spider. <laughs> hope it looks like Lucas. I know it does get a little bit complicated in these parts right here, but hopefully I'm helping you out. And I'm just going to soften this curve a little bit more. And to make it look like uh, this jumping spider, which has all these hairs, let's come back in here and I'm just going to start to flick out these tiny hairs. Flick it out. There's no right or wrong way. It's just like it's basically everywhere, right? So just go for it. Of course, you can do this when you're coloring. If you're using a color pencil, perhaps. And I'm just going to go ahead. Just a little indication of all these hairs without getting too complicated. Hopefully this is starting to look like Lucas a little bit more. And let's see here, have I added enough hairs? <laughs> Maybe the front ones can be a little bit thicker. Uh, let's see. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to add a heart right here to make it my draw so cute Lucas the jumping spider. And let's add a shadow so it just makes it look a little bit better about what's going on down here. So I'm going to, let's say about right here, just a tentative little shadow thing going on. Okay, now I'll just go ahead and shade this all in. It just grounds the spider a little bit better and then we don't have to worry about too many details going on at the bottom. We can just kind of cheat a little bit. So when you're coloring, just make these areas nice and dark. And we're not even drawing Lucas's uh, teeth, right? <laughs> It's complicated enough. So just add this darkened area right here. Uh, let's see. There, something like that. So hopefully that helps. make it look much better. And that is pretty much it for my attempt at drawing Lucas the jumping spider here. And I really hope I was able to help you out too to draw this cute little spider. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.